wasn't that you, you feel so completely defined, but when you listen to you say, how can this person possibly uh, come to that conclusion? There's some completely de de bereft of the Holy Spirit, and they, they simply don't get it. So uh, many people, of course, say, well, I don't think you, yeah, well, they've got, I don't like your, I don't really, diaprax, diaprax, diaprax. New issue, incidentally, of the print periodical for Christian media. Uh, next one, we're going to do another ver another edition of the Apocalypse Chronicles newsletter, and it is on the dragon speak or the diaprax. And uh, once again, we hammer that subject home because it's just absolutely uh, the smoking gun. And uh, many people grow weary of hearing some of the same subjects again. We try to vary them, but the diaprax is very, very important. And uh, since we uh, had the uh, Dean Gocher event, to those of you unaware of it, Dean was, uh, they had to cancel the Southern Oregon event, uh, which we had worked very hard on trying to build up. And uh, I took the meeting myself, and basically it was it was very abysmal in terms of turnout. Uh, Dean and Karen uh, Gocher, who Dean is the the authority on uh, diaprax, uh, his his the vehicle difficulties down in Southern California, and they were so um, well severe that they had to just head for home. So they're going to try to get back out here, hopefully later this year. But uh, they've got to be completely road weary because they spend all of their lives out touring and going to various places. Those of you who are part of the Christian media effort, uh, particularly the Fishers of Men and the supporters, uh, we, we just keep trying to find ways to uh, um, uh, get involved in sort of a central um, control of their touring activities. You, you really got to hear that guy speak sometime if you get the opportunity. And he will speak for very small groups. Uh, all he needs is an invitation. So we, we encourage everybody to continue to uh, push forward on that front. But you've got to understand the diaprax or the praxis of the dialectic because it's, it's the key to what continually is revealed as wrong in false doctrine. It's sort of shorthand for false prophets. When they speak like a dragon, i.e. they utilize the diaprax, you already know. False doctrine is pretty much interchangeable. I mean, as the Apostle Paul says, if any man preaches any other gospel, that means it does not equal the one truth. So you could have 900 other gospels, and it doesn't much matter which version of the other gospel that they get. Well, when they speak like a dragon, you're guaranteed that it's the dragon's presence in the false doctrine. And so if they don't have that spiritual understanding, if that hasn't been bestowed upon them by the Lord, you, you really have, and, and I like to call it spiritual shorthand, you really have a cut-to-the-chase way of determining this person's doctrine is false. And those who uh, look at such a statement or, or they, they perceive, they say, well, yeah, but you don't like anything. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but you're thinking like a dragon. You don't have to speak like a dragon. If you think like a dragon, you're caught in it too. And you say, but I'm not Jesus, for all you're a liar. Because if you weren't Jesus, you wouldn't be speaking like a dragon or thinking like a dragon. So we, we continue to hammer that thing home, and I continue to lose listeners because of it, and readers. <laughs> and you know, it just uh, breaks my heart when I lose a lose another supporter. <laughs> Don't let the door hit you on the way out, moron, is my response. Uh, and you know, I don't really have to say vitriolic things, but the point is that it, it doesn't matter. We're not functioning according to the ways of the world here. Uh, if the Christian media cult. <laughs> You know, had, had three adherents, then okay, then that's the, those are the cards the Lord dealt me. You know, we I'm not going to play this thing. The guy a while back, well, I've been donated to your ministry. You need to answer my question. And see, that's that's manipulation. Of course, that's witchcraft. Uh, manipulation. If you actually look up witchcraft, you'll find the term manipulation for the purpose of domination is is in the dictionary. And so here, I dangle my donation. If you don't answer me, I won't donate anymore. I said, take your donation and do you know what? Uh, because I, it, it's not about that. It's about the truth. And that's part of the problem. And it's, of course, the leaven of how the, uh, the body of Christ was infected. And we've dealt 